So we have a thing going where we say, does it morro? Like I said, our drink is typically made with cold brew. Okay. But you can literally put it on anything to try it. I love it because it reminds me of when you do like a la mode. Yeah. So a la moro. A la moro. <laughs> I love that. Instead, instead of does it more roll? A local business owner in Lincoln Heights is betting on herself and on the high end quality of coffee coming out of El Salvador. In naming her business Cipota Coffee, Gardenia Rosales is making her mark as a Cipota owned coffee brand. Hey, ¿cómo estás? Let me get you my camera right <laughs> Typically, we make our El Morro drink with cold brew, but right now I'm going to make a campana, which is Ooh. a espresso with a crema. Which and what's in this crema? It is morro seeds, mm. sesame seeds, a few other seeds. I could just eat that. Yeah. That's delicious. It's fit on everything. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. We've so, got your morro cream that you make here. Yeah. And we're going to add espresso. Espresso. Look at that. Um, well, with the way I make it, a lot of do, people do espresso blends. Okay. I like to do all my espresso as like a single origin, so you could get you get to taste the that variety, that specific coffee in yeah. different ways. So, yeah. the espresso. Um, a lot of people think coffee is just sweet or acidic or bitter. Mm -hmm. It actually has sweetness, bitterness, and acidity. You, I mean, every coffee is going to be different. <laughs> so your recipe is going to be a little different for every coffee. Let me get. Oh my gosh. Wow. It does not have one single bad angle. Looking, looking delicious. It has a little bow. It's cute. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> so would you stir this or just like enjoy you know, it like that? You know, I leave that up to the drinker. Oh. I sip okay. through it. So if you oh. want. Uh, campana, right? Campana. Okay. Or uh, espresso a la moro. Espresso a la moro. I love it. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Honestly, um, it tastes uh, like, uh, you know, that raisiny kind mm -hmm. of like, it's sweet, but it's a little... Like a prune? Yes. Kind of like raisin, yeah. Yes. El Salvador has like coffee regions that grows coffee. Yeah. So each region is different. And that's going to be in Santa Ana. This is in Sulacan. And this region is the region that grows the coffee. You know, how does it feel for you to be providing this Salvadoran coffee from such a specific corner in El Salvador um, and you're literally seeing it from where the farm is, La yeah. Finca, and then you're, you know, your your hands are in it. Honestly, it makes me really happy. Um, for example, here Finca Los Pirineos, Diego Barauna, he's a producer. He's honestly like, it has become a really good friend um, and his story is so inspirational. So being able to share not just his coffee but his story i think diego when i first met him he was um third year in running his family's farm and he was like i'm trying to expand my market in the u.s yeah. and i think we were probably one of the first people to bring his coffee to la and um i have people messaging me now like how do you get diego's coffee and that's what we want we want to support um and share their coffees and get people excited about it. Yeah. And not just get it from Cipota Coffee, but if you want to get it from them and like start your own project, that's that's like goal, yeah. goal accomplished. <laughs> now, one of the things that you were telling me about that I've never like had that little bit of insider's knowledge was this cascara tea. Yeah. So cascara tea is basically um, the coffee bean comes from a cherry. So yes. a fruit. Yes. The cascara is basically the outside of that fruit. The okay. cascara. Copy that. Yeah, the cascara wow. is taken um, and then it's dried. Mm -hmm. So it's dried the same way they do, they dry the coffee in these like drying beds. And then it turns into this 
cute. Wow. So this Raisin is, looking. Yeah. So it turns from red or yellow or orange, whatever color the cherry wow. is, to each cherry is going to have like its own unique flavor. Okay. So sometimes you'll t eat a cherry like right off the, the coffee plant and it will be like very citrusy and oh, others wow. will, you know, be a little more berry. It all depends on like the type it is. This is a Gesha, a Cascara of a Gesha um, coffee bean. And let me, get, let me get this footage of you making this tea. Good. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in here and we're measuring it. Let me zoom in. Wow, I zoomed in fast. And you could smell that. You could like go in there and smell that if you want. How have you, what have you learned about like the coffee industry? in El Salvador as it is. And have you noticed any like differences? Because in Salvador, like, how does it compete in such a huge right, coffee industry? Right. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have seen in, in more in comments, like people were like, oh, El Salvador coffee is not that good, but like you taste this and you're like, no, it is amazing. Yeah. And it's like, how many volcanoes can you find in that small? area of land. Mm -hmm. Hawaiian coffees are super expensive, probably some of the best out there they say, and that's volcanic land. So why isn't El Salvador's yeah. coffee seen that way? And it, there's a lot of, you know, perceptions about products from our homeland should be at a certain price mm -hmm. point, right? And so they fight you on it. Yeah. And yeah. like, I don't know if you've gotten <laughs> some of that. Cause I, it's a justice have. issue, you know? Yeah. Like, we're pay we're paying top dollar because we're not trying to like exploit our people. Right. right, and it's 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 not just like a copy that was like picked by machines or you know sorted by machines. A lot of there's a lot of people working on getting this copy to where it is here. Or oh, tea's ready. Shall we? Yeah. A little. Do you cheers for a tea? I mean, we, we can. Salud. <laughs> that I could drink a lot of this. Okay, important right. question: mm -hmm. Is this as caffeinated as coffee? It's a little less caffeinated. Okay. Like, wow. Like a green tea. But um, do you guys have this on the menu? Not yet. <laughs> I think you should. So our friend gifted us this, um, Diego, when we just visited, um, and we're gonna bring some back. Honestly, so in this way, also, there's no waste. Like you're yeah. using every part of the coffee. Yeah. Um, One of the things that I not only just admire, like how you do your business, of who you are, like the fact that you chose to get your coffee education, like in San Salvador, is like so <laughs> much diligence, thirty. Like but I also feel like. Well, you haven't even been open here at Rosenfan for a year. Yeah. And I feel like at Rosenfan, Tipota Coffee, the community here has kind of been like a, <laughs> a whole nother thing. Like, yeah. talk to me about that. And I think it's going back to this, like, I don't think there's been a Salvadorian, you see Salvadorian restaurants anywhere, but like, there hasn't been a place like this. It's like a coffee shop. Like, like a, a casual, coffee shop. Yeah, yeah for and, sure. And, um, I love that. I love that there's young people who come in here and, you know, just hang out. And trying like, like the moro, it's like horchata in a new way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I love that. And then I, I just have a young girl who comes in who's doing a case study on Tipota Coffee or who's doing her school projects, you know, on oh, <laughs> Tipota Coffee. I'm like, that's so cool. Cause yeah. like, you know, when I was in business school, it's like, okay, do a market marketing analysis on like Nike or you know these huge companies yeah. or I'm just like oh I'm gi I've given someone like a space to do a a research study or a case study on super coffee yeah and, like, it doesn't cool have that? to leave the community right the examples right in the yeah community. yeah exactly. that is incredible because it really it cast a vision of what's possible mm -hmm. and you're you're leading the way yeah you I'm like you're like an inspiration oh. too.